Hi, I'm Chris Downs, a writer for Microsoft Access. By using the combo box wizard, you can quickly create a drop-down list that lets you find a record on a form. For example, to find a record on this form, I can just select a name in the combo box, and then the form displays that record. Or I can type a few characters in the combo box, and then press tab or enter when I see the name I want. One note before we begin, the combo box wizard is disabled for web-compatible forms, so the procedure in this video can only be used on client forms. If you're not sure what kind of form you're working with, take a look at its icon in the navigation pane. If there's a small globe on the icon, it's a web-compatible form, and the procedure I'm about to show you won't work. But this form is a standard client form, so this procedure should work fine. I'll right-click the form and then click Layout View. Next, we need to make sure that the control wizards are enabled. On the Design tab, in the Controls group, click the down arrow in the Control Gallery and make sure the Use Control Wizards option is selected. In the Controls Gallery, click the Combo Box Control, and then click on the form where you want to place the combo box. This kind of control usually works best in the form header section, so I'll place it just under the title of the form. If you get a security notice dialog box at this point, go ahead and click open to start the wizard. In the combo box wizard, I'll select the third option, find a record on my form based on the value I selected in my combo box. On the next page, I need to decide which values I want to display in the combo box. The field I want to use is a calculated field in the contact table. The calculated field combines the first and last names of the contact. The reason I want to use this field is that if I just used a single field like last name and my database contained several people with the same last name, the combo box wouldn't be able to find the correct record. So combining the first and last names into a single calculated field and then using that for the combo box makes it more accurate. If you're viewing this video on office.com, you'll find a link to more information about calculated fields in the See Also section. Continuing with the wizard, I'll click Next. Here the wizard shows me how the list will look when it's created. I could show the key column, but the ID field is not very helpful in this context, so I'll leave this checkbox selected. I can adjust column widths if necessary and I'll scroll down to make sure everything looks okay. That looks good, so I'll click Next, and then type a label for this combo box. I'll just type Find Contact to help indicate what the combo box is for. I click Finish, and Access places the combo box in the form header where I clicked at the beginning of this procedure. I'll need to adjust some column sizes and maybe split or merge some cells in the layout to get things the way I want. First, I'll split the cell that contains the combo box horizontally a couple of times, and then I'll move the combo box over one cell. Now I'll merge this empty cell with the cell that contains the label. Now I can resize these cells without messing up the alignment of the cells above it. That looks good, so I'll switch to Form View and test my combo box. I'll select a name from the list, and Access finds it on the form. The only problem I see is that the list is not sorted alphabetically. I have to add that sorting manually. I'll switch to Layout View on the form, select the combo box, and then open the property sheet if it's not already displayed. In the Row Source property box, I'll click the Build button to open the Query Builder. In the Sort row of the File As field, I'll select Ascending. I'll click Close, and then click Yes to save the changes. Now when I switch back to Form View, the combo box items are sorted. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll check out our other videos and articles on Office.com.